Well, uh, hi, this is the video about the autofocus and what I am going to show you on the screen is um, how I managed to solve the, the autofocus so that you can um, understand how, how, we, how we're doing this because it's not, uh, it's not that um, I don't know, uh, like the antecedents, because uh, the antecedents, what they, what they do is that they analyze a, a whole curve, and of course this curve um, has got some 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 local maximum and then you have a global maximum and so you need an algorithm that iterates through 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 this curve and and finds the local maximum okay but um we have seen that uh, there are two problems with this and uh well there there are there two others because uh, the first problem is the time that uh, may consume because imagine analyzing uh, a, a curve with uh, I don't know and being equal to to 300 samples because um, you are going to see uh, <laughs> I don't know how can I show you that but the microscope is very very the, the micrometric wheel that you use to focus an image that has a, an augmentation uh, of 100 is, is is really hard to do you have to take a lot of samples to to, to check which is uh, the focused image so uh, for humans of course that's kind of easy because you, you you kind of predict where it is but for a machine it's not like that and the antecedents that I have seen that uh, that do this kind of autofocus they they analyze a whole curve okay they, they start in a point that they start analyzing uh, like 300 or maybe or even 1000 samples so they then or, or later they need to iterate through through this whole thing and imagine the time that that consumes is a lot because you have to to take 1000 samples in the first place and the other uh, problem is the is the processor I mean the, the power of the processor uh, you may have a very powerful processor I don't know you may have uh, like a GPU like a, a NVIDIA JSON take TK1 that I have right here, but this costs two hundred dollars. You cannot put uh, one of these in, in the microscope. Uh, it's going to uh, increase the, the the price a lot. So, uh, as we are using a Raspberry Pi in the, in the microscope, we had to come up with a new idea. And the thing that we did is um, we have set the microscope to to start. I don't know if you will see this. <sighs> oh, let me check. Okay, I know you will see this, but the microscope has got a button here on 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 the top part of the theta axis. So whenever you 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 go up, the micro the microscope knows that it is in the home position and stops there. Okay, so from there uh, we we have this. I don't know. I haven't read this uh, anywhere else, but uh, we have seen that um, the focus point is always a few millimeters uh, right uh, behind this point, right this this home point. So we move back down a little bit, and you will, and we will find the focus point. Okay, and that happens for all of the objectives, not for the, not just for the for the biggest one, but uh, the biggest one is the is the hardest to to focus the other the others are are more easy okay but the point is that uh, we start there and uh, thanks to that we are able to obtain a cure that uh, oh my god let me close this we obtain a cure that looks like this uh, we are starting here at the home position come okay uh, and so we do this. Uh, how many samples did I take in that? Uh, this was 100 taxes. Okay, and so uh, using uh, only 100 samples in in, in the CTA axle to find this local maxima. Now uh, there is something that we do. Uh, we iterate. Uh, I mean, we don't take samples. We just go straight to this point right over here here is n that is equal to so what what i do here is uh, a recursive algorithm algorithm to find i don't have to write over here so um, what i do is that i analyze three numbers i analyze n0 i analyze n1 I analyze n2 so being this n sub 0 being this n sub 1 and being this n sub 2 if um zero and uh, n sub 1 is measured than n sub, sub 2 then uh, we're in the local max we're in the local maxima okay so 
uh, I just append values to a vector and I analyze the last three and I am able to find that okay so um, it's not heavy processing it's just a fancy algorithm it's a fancy way to to find the, the maximum local point for this and it works pretty well um, and I guess that's it because the only processing that you require part of the function nothing else and uh, as I have made tests with uh, with uh, high density backgrounds and city backgrounds uh, it's kind of the same it, it doesn't have that, that much variability it's almost always uh, very close to to the end that equals 100 samples so um, that's an advantage um, it's great because um, this becomes a, lo a lot of low low processing, and uh, I can just go straight to and I don't have to worry about uh, taking images or processing anything. So it's faster, and you are and you achieve a, an autofocus in. Um, I'm going to show you later, but I think it was 20 seconds. Uh, but that's that's just fine. I mean, with a Raspberry P3. Um, it doesn't even have a, a neon processor for for floating point operations so i think it's just great so now we will move to the video and um, i'm going to make a pause because i want to show you in the screen i have made a, a kind of visual interface so that you believe me and uh, i'm going to pause the video 